12. Celebrating differences. Know there will always be differences. Honor them, and make room for them. Respect the differences and cherish another. Take those differences from your families, your friends, and the people who cross your path. Know that together you can accomplish anything when you unite in your love, your determination, and your wisdom. Bart Robinson's Toast On their way home that night, Karen and Craig could not help giggling like little kids. You were so bad not to warn them ahead of time, Karen said as seriously as she could. What? That you're a girl? Craig said innocently. I'm pretty sure they guessed that from your name. No, you goof. Karen exclaimed. You should have told them that I'm black. Oh, my goodness. Are you? Craig teased out you were so bad not to warn them ahead of time. Karen snorted. The crazy thing is, I actually think you believe that. Oh, my goodness. She said. Did you see the looks on their faces when Kyle threw open that door and announced, Mom. Dad. Guess who's coming to dinner? With all the drama of Katherine Hepburn? And did you notice how hard they tried to recover without looking shocked? Craig chimed in. And Kyle was no help when he announced we were having spare ribs and sweet potatoes? Kyle was enjoying the whole thing far too much, Karen agreed. And did you notice how hard they tried to recover without looking shocked? Craig said. So? Karen asked. So what? Craig asked. How did your parents react? Karen asked. Hmm. Craig shrugged. I guess he was preparing the way for you? You think so? Karen said. Exactly, Craig agreed. So? You are one in a million. She exclaimed, leaning over to kiss him. I only hope my parents catch some of that open-mindedness from you. What? Said Craig with mock shock. You are one in a million. I thought it was a wonderful toast, protested Karen. It was sensitive, articulate, and learned. Yeah, well when he gives it again at our wedding and Kyle's wedding and every other wedding where he is asked to toast the happy couple, you will begin to think it is less learned. He's been giving that toast as long as I've been attending wedding, Craig said. I thought it was a wonderful toast. You have a lovely family, Karen said. You threw them a curveball and they managed to hit it out of the park. Yeah, they did, agreed Craig. You have a lovely family, Karen mused. I'll tell you tomorrow, said Craig. What do you mean? Asked Karen. I'll tell you tomorrow, Craig said.